Hello and welcome. I'm Dr. Rajshrina Budripad, and today's video is all about MTHFR. How many of you have heard of MTHFR before? Well, it stands for methyl tetrahydrofolate reductase. It's an enzyme that plays a key role in methylation and detoxification in every cell of your body. MTHFR is front and center in so many key metabolic pathways in your body. For example, it can affect how your liver detoxifies, how you clear out neurotransmitters in your brain, how you clear hormones, and also how you remove inflammatory molecules from accumulating in the body. Before we delve into all the fun and exciting biochemistry, let me introduce you to some of my patients. Here we have Stacy, who is a 43-year-old woman suffering from chronic migraines. Next we have Henry, who is a 55-year-old man with high blood pressure. Sarah is a 15-year-old girl with anxiety and depression. George is a 67-year-old man struggling with his weight and diabetes. Finally, we have Jennifer, a 28-year-old woman struggling with fibromyalgia and chronic fatigue. So what do these patients have in common? Well, they all suffer from a mutation in their MTHFR gene, and this affects the efficiency of the MTHFR enzyme in every cell of their body. Having a mutation in the MTHFR gene is associated with numerous health conditions, such as chronic fatigue, fibromyalgia, heart disease, stroke, high blood pressure, cancers, dementia, headaches, mood disorders like anxiety and depression, ADHD, addiction, autism, infertility, weight issues and diabetes, autoimmune disease, and chemical sensitivities. So what does MTHFR do in your body? Well, I told you the biochemistry was coming. So here we have the MTHFR enzyme. I included this diagram just to show how interconnected all the biochemical pathways are in your body. So a defect in your MTHFR gene can affect your production of brain neurotransmitters like dopamine and serotonin. It definitely affects your detoxification pathways. So big picture is that MTHFR is crucial, it's front and center and influences so many metabolic pathways in every cell of your body. So what exactly is methylation? This takes us back to organic chemistry, but a methyl group is actually a carbon molecule attached to three hydrogen molecules. So methylation is the biochemical pathway where a methyl group gets added to another substance. It may sound simple, but it's actually a big deal. Let me give you some examples. This is one of the most important pathways controlled by the MTHFR enzyme. It converts folate, which is vitamin B9, that's found in food like broccoli and spinach, to the active form of folate known as methylfolate, and this is the form that your body can utilize. Are you familiar with homocysteine? As many of my patients know, this is one of the tests I love to order on your blood work. Homocysteine is methylated by MTHFR to the essential amino acid methionine. It's really important this process happen because if homocysteine accumulates in your body, it creates inflammation and can put you at a higher risk of heart attack, stroke, as well as dementia. Your homocysteine level on your blood work tells me a lot about how you're methylating and my goal is to help you get the homocysteine as low as possible with an ideal level being around 6. Here's a diagram showing how all of these pathways are interconnected. So if something is off with your MTHFR, it creates a domino effect, affecting all the other pathways. So let's put it all together. As you can see, homocysteine is methylated to methionine. Folate is methylated to methylfolate. As you can see, these pathways also tie in with your production of brain neurotransmitters, such as serotonin and dopamine. That's why a mutation in the MTHFR gene is associated with mood disorders 
like anxiety, depression, as well as addiction. Finally, the methylation cycle is also tied in with the production of glutathione, which is the master antioxidant and detoxifier in your body. So what's your MTHFR genotype? There are several genes which control the MTHFR enzyme, and for each gene you have two alleles or copies. You get one copy from your mother and the other copy from your father. The two main variants of the MTHFR gene are C677T and A1298C. Between the two of these, the C677T variant is the more clinically significant one, meaning it can cause more problems, like higher homocysteine and more symptoms. Did you know that 50% of the population has one or more abnormal copies of one of the MTHFR genes? Now let me show you the different genotype possibilities. Let's look at the C677 variant, which is the more clinically significant one. If you have two normal copies of this gene, we call this homozygous normal. This is the ideal scenario, meaning your MTHFR enzyme has no mutation. If you have one normal and one abnormal copy of this gene, we call this heterozygous. This reduces the efficiency of your MTHFR enzyme by about 30%. Finally, if you have two abnormal copies of this gene, this is called homozygous abnormal. Unfortunately, this reduces the efficiency of your MTHFR enzyme by about 70%. The MTHFR genes are passed on generation to generation. Here we have a mother and father who are both heterozygous for the MTHFR gene, meaning they have one normal copy and one abnormal copy. Both of their sons are also heterozygous, but unfortunately their daughter got two abnormal copies of the gene. Here's the good news. Your genes are not your destiny. Epigenetics means we can change the expression of your genes through your lifestyle. This is exactly the philosophy of integrative medicine, and that's what I like to focus on with my patients. The first step is finding out. Let's test for your MTHFR gene. One way to test is to do a 23andMe from your saliva. You then have to download your raw genetic data, and then you can upload it to a company like Genetic Genie to get a report on all your genes. This can be a lot of steps for some people, so to make it easy, I now offer the MTHFR gene by a quick and easy blood draw in our office. Knowing your MTHFR genotype allows you to be more proactive about your health, and it also gives you information about what you may be passing on to your children so you can decide if they should be tested as well. Regardless of your genetics, what can we do to boost your MTHFR enzyme? Methyl B complex is like rocket fuel for your MTHFR enzyme. That's because the B vitamins are cofactors in all the methylation pathways. You want to make sure the folate in your B complex is methylated as methylfolate and that the B12 is methylated as methylcobalamin. This is especially important if you have an MTHFR gene mutation because it helps bypass the step of methylation. Methyl B complex is one of the most important vitamins that I recommend to my patients. It's the stress vitamin, and by boosting your methylation pathways, it also increases your brain's production of serotonin and dopamine, which are the feel-good neurotransmitters, making you feel calmer, and also reducing your carb and sugar cravings. Be sure to check your B-complex to make sure it's methylated. So the B9 or folate should be as methylfolate and not as folic acid. You also want to make sure the B12 is as methylcobalamin and not as cyanocobalamin. The reason is if you have an MTHFR gene mutation, your body won't be able to process folic acid. So be sure to check your multivitamin and your prenatal vitamin as well. What's interesting is they're always saying that pregnant women need plenty of folic acid to prevent neural tube birth defects, but really what would be better is methylfolate. 
We'll know if your methyl B complex is working if your homocysteine comes down to an ideal level of 6. For some patients, I give additional methylation support. Methyl CPG has the additional cofactor betaine or trimethylglycine, which really helps speed along methylation and bring down homocysteine in some patients. The B vitamins are all the cofactors in the methylation pathways. That's why I call them rocket fuel. So first we have B9, which is methylfolate. Then we have B12 as methylcobalamin. B6 is pyridoxine and B2 is riboflavin. Finally, some patients need the additional cofactor known as betaine or trimethylglycine. Food is medicine and you can get a lot of methylation support from your food. The dark leafy green vegetables are rich sources of folate, which can really help boost your methylation pathways and bring your homocysteine down. Try to have one to two servings of leafy green vegetables a day. This includes vegetables like spinach, kale, chard, arugula, and broccoli. The glutathione cycle and the methylation cycle are interconnected. Glutathione is the master antioxidant and detoxifier in your body. It promotes all your detox pathways, especially in your liver. So everyone can benefit from glutathione. And what's interesting is I've seen a few patients who are unable to tolerate B vitamins, but when I gave them glutathione, I saw a significant reduction in their homocysteine. You can choose whatever form you prefer. Liposomal is a liquid form that gets absorbed through the mucous membranes in your mouth. And transdermal is a liquid spray that gets absorbed through your skin. These are the things you want to avoid because they're going to cause your homocysteine to go up and put more strain on your MTHFR enzyme. So they include sugar, alcohol, excess animal fat, as well as smoking. So let's get back to my patients from the beginning of the video. Do you remember Stacy, Henry, Sarah, George, and Jennifer? They all had the MTHFR gene. I changed their diet to a clean, whole foods diet with plenty of vegetables, and I gave them a methyl B complex supplement to take every day. What's amazing is six months later, Stacy was migraine free. She was thrilled that she no longer had to take medication for her migraines. Henry was extremely happy as well because his blood pressure normalized and he was able to get off his blood pressure medication. Sarah's mood was now stable and she was able to focus better on her schoolwork. George lost 30 pounds and he also reversed his diabetes, which is amazing. Jennifer finally had energy and was able to return back to work doing what she loved as a yoga instructor. So here we have the key points. MTHFR is an enzyme that controls methylation and detoxification in your body. It's helpful to know your MTHFR genotype as well as your homocysteine level. Methyl B complex provides the cofactors for the methylation pathways and helps to bring down your homocysteine. Regardless of your genetics, there's a lot we can do to prevent and reverse disease. Thanks so much for watching this video. Hope you enjoyed it and please share it with your friends and family. If you like the video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. Feel free to leave your questions and comments below. Thank you again and have a wonderful day.